Okay, so um, I'm a little under the weather, so if my voice is kind of uh, scratchy at times, just excuse it. Um, to, in this video, what I'll be doing is implementing the code that we talked about in the last two videos. The first thing I want to do is I want to take care of this cancel button. So when the user no longer wants to complete an action and they want to go back to their profile, we're going to just uh, dismiss. Okay, nothing special here. Okay, so the first thing we want to do in our update user's profile um, is we want to get the user's ID. So a user ID is equal to fir off dot off dot current user dot uid. All right. And I'm just going to close it down here. So we have the user's ID and what we want to do is create or there's a place in our storage for this user's profile. So we're just going to go ahead and, and get access to that so we can overwrite the current uh, profile picture with the new profile picture. So we're going to just create a storage item which is going to be the user's profile picture in storage is equal to a storage ref, a reference to the storage that we set up already. And we're gonna say the child, our path is going to be profile images. And I'll show you guys what that is now. Within our storage, we have a folder called profile underscore images. We have our user ID and this is the image. This is their, their profile image. So we're going to do in profile images for our user ID. Okay, that looks good. Now let's get the uploaded image from the photo library. If you remember what we did is once we select a picture from our photo library, we put it back into our um, image view. So we'll just get it from there with the GAR statement and let me actually switch to the dis proper display. Okay, looks good. Okay, so guard let uh, image equal the profile image view dot image. All right. Else we're going to return. So we, we can't get the image. We don't want to not save anything. So we're just going to return out of there. But if we're able to get the profile image, the next thing we're going to want to do is create a, a, U, um, a PNG representation or a JPEG re representation to store in our database, into our storage actually. So I'm going to do if let uh, Mm, new image equals UI image representation of our image. So the next thing we want to do is we want to upload the image to Firebase. We've already created a access point to storage with storage item. And we're going to do the put command. We're going to put our new image. I'm not going to do any metadata. You could do it if you like. I'm going to metadata if I need it back. Or I'm going to throw an error. Okay. So if error is not equal to nil, what we want to do is we're going to let's print error or return. But if it is, if we're able to successfully store the image into the database, what we need to do is we need to actually get the URL. Because if you remember in our profile, we're storing the URL for each of the users in their profile. So I'll just go into that really quickly so you guys can see. Let me just go over here and go to our database. So as you see, our database has this URL. So we need to grab that URL again. 
So let's do that. By downloading from the storage. So we're going to use our same storage reference, storage item dot download URL. Give us back a URL, else give us an error. F error not equal to nil. Print error. And I definitely urge you guys to work ahead to handle these better as far as maybe a pop up or something like that. I'm going to do it later in the polishing phase of this this app, but I just want to just completely do a uh, run through it in order to uh, get it done. So if we didn't experience an error, then that means that we have a URL. So uh, if let profile photo URL equal to the URL we just got um, dot absolute string. Okay, so we get the entire string for the URL. Then what we want to do is get the information because like we said, we're actually going to be, um, <clears throat> we're actually going to be uploading everything. So if the user changes their username, we're going to update, or we're gonna, we're gonna rewrite their username, the display name, basically everything in there. If they hit save, everything is gonna get rewritten and you could do this differently but I think this is just the easiest way right now and like I said I'll go back later and um maybe update that so I'm just creating um getting information from the profile so I'm going to get the username that's in the username text UI dot text else guard let new uh, display name equal the self dot display and like I said this, this is all of the text elements on our edit profile UI else return you could do you could probably combine these guard statements but I'm already halfway through so it just doesn't make sense now new bio text is equal to self dot bio text dot text else return and now I need to create a, di a dictionary in order to write it back to the dictionary that's in a firebase so I'm just going to go let new values so the new values at the that the user has when they hit save or they can still be old they didn't have to actually update them I'm just going to say for our photo our keyword photo and I'm just going to show you guys that too before I continue so just photo okay all right so we have bio a bio key a display key a email key a photo key and a username key then we have our different values here so basically we're going to say we're going to get all of these and we're going to update them except for the email because that's how we log the user in so they can't change that we're changing the bio display photo and username it's going to be the new value is going to be profile photo url that we just got then we have um, uh, username, I believe this was called, and that's going to be a new username, comma, for display name. I think it's display. Let me make sure before I continue. Yeah, it's just display. is going to equal new display name and then finally bio is going to be new bio text all right 
And so now we created a dictionary. And what we want to do at this point is we're actually going to do this part. So let me just cut that and I'm going to put that up here. So, and this code will be available. I will link to it below. We already have a reference to our database here. And the thing that you guys want to make sure is that your outlets are connected to your uh, storyboard UI elements. So if you're getting errors around the, um, around that, that's the first thing you want to make sure of. Okay. So I'm just going to say self database, or my database reference dot child. And if we remember, there's a photo call profile and I'll show you guys that. I think we're doing pretty good on time. So this is our profile. So we're gonna, we're gonna wanna, from our database, go into our child called profile, and then go into, from the profile, go into our child, which is the user's uh, ID. That child, and then go into the user's ID. And this is the, this is going to be their profile. Okay. <clears throat> And now when we're now that we're here, what we want to do is we want to update child values with a completion block. Uh, yeah. So we have our values, which are new values for profile. If we have an error, we want to handle that. A ref. So let's go ahead and if, you know, the drill, if error is not equal to nil, pause here and handle it with some really nice uh, GUI that pops up or a little message that pops up for the user. I'm just going to go ahead and say, I'm going to print the error and then I'm going to return. It, that's what I meant to do. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to print a message to myself. And you can, like I said, pause and do something more graceful here. Successfully updated. Profile successfully updated. All right. So that's it. Let's see if it runs. We're already logged in, so it's going to take us past the login. I'm going to go into profile. Right now I have this waterfall as a profile. So I'm just going to hit edit. And the first thing I want to do is let's change it back to my photo. A um, little conceited, but uh, you know, don't mean to be. Um, let's change it to my new little name, Code Bean. So I'm gonna hit save. So in our button here, and as you see, profile updated successfully. I'm going to go ahead and stop the application just to show you that it actually updated. So I'm going to run this again. It's going to bypass our login again. I'm going to hit profile. As you see, it's updated on the profile. If I go in here, you see that everything stayed the way we wanted to. Um, our, my next video, what I'll be doing is I will move on to something new. Thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I will somewhere either at the end of this video, put the videos, the two that came before this video, if you didn't understand this one, that way you can go back and watch that. And then this will, will make a lot more sense because I described it in excruciating detail. Um, but if something doesn't make sense after that and you've seen all, all three videos, feel free to comment and I will try to clarify. I will have the code linked um, below as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time.